Bleeding Burgundy Podcast, a Washington football podcast by fans for fans, with your hosts, Jesse Martin. You want to play with us? Okay. Say hello to my little friend. John Taylor. Quiet, numbskulls. I'm broadcasting. And Keith Gray. The king. He on majesty. And now here's your host. Jesse Martin. Hey, everybody, this is John, and welcome to Bleeding Burgundy Podcast number 46. We are going to call this one Tuat, uh, which, if you say fast enough, is a really stupid sounding word. Twat, but I guess that's what we're asking about, Tua, because that's where we're going to start off today. First off, there's my buddy Jesse over there, and there's my buddy Keith down there. Uh, Keith, you're not feeling too good today. You know, you look kind of rough. Yeah, yeah, it's been a rough day. Squirts. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. T- right now I'm 0 and 7, and I'm not making a comeback today. That's for sure. 0 and 7, that's pretty bad. You know, well, never mind. I'm not going to go into that area. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you do have to go into that area, please take us with you. I'm sure yeah. that everyone will be quite interested <laughs> what happens when Keith has to go do that. Yeah. Speaking right, well, of 0 and 7, though, that's pretty much where we're going as a football team, too. But, anyways, carry ah, on. You're carry supposed on. to be an ambassador. All right. So, anyway. Uh, so yeah, so I opened right up there like with with Tua because that's the big rumor of the day or yesterday was Tua in this big gigantic deal. The Dolphins, honest to God, I think that the Dolphins and the Texans especially they just put on a blindfold and they take a freaking uh, a dart and they throw it in any general direction that they want and whatever it lands on, that's what they do. So, what do you think of this this? rumor coming up from Miami that two is going to show up up here for a pile of picks or whatever. I don't even know how much they're asking for a second round pick. Is that what I've heard? Jesse, uh, go ahead. Tell me about it. I think it's an awful idea. Um, straight yes. the fuck up. Uh, I, listen, I, I like to, uh, I got nothing against him, but why do we want to keep bringing broken guys uh, in this uh, franchise and, and, and try to be the, uh, the, you know, the, the reclamation project. Um, he's constantly hurt. And, and really, uh, uh, Miami is already given up on him. Uh, that's got to tell you just a little right emotional. There. That's all. It's, it, it, yeah, I, I don't, I, no, that's a, it's a hard pass for me. Oh, my stomach is emotional. Okay. That's <laughs> not emotional. Right now, it's feeling all sorts of depressed <laughs> things. So, what do you think about Tua coming to Washington, Mr. Ambassador? Would you welcome with with open arms, or do you think this is just ridiculous? You know, John, I'm glad that you asked me that question. What? You're quite welcome. Well, thank you. So, <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen. First of all, this was a rumor. This was a rumor that was started by Alejandro. Do Do any of you know who Alejandro is? rumors are always true though you know that especially when they originate from a radio right. guy so right? here's the pro- right well here's the problem that i have with this so alejandro listened to a podcast on youtube of two guys who actually have a source who said that tua could possibly be here on monday <laughs> for a number two draft pick right so there's problem number one okay a friend told a friend who heard from a friend that a friend wow. said this and then a friend did did this okay then you have the podcasters okay i'm gonna call them out i don't even care right fuck them fuck hey, whatever fuck them fuck them right you have the podcasters that just eat this shit up mm-hmm. right all for what because yeah like opening like, up a show talking about it who would listen do that? i love Listen, I love the podcasters, okay? And if any of them feel that I'm targeting them, I am. So with that being said, um, with, with that being said. That burned a okay, little bit. I'm going to be 100% honest here. Like these screenshots were getting tossed around like a bunch of little schoolgirls that had a little guy friend that they liked, okay? Stop it. Start thinking logically, people. Okay, yeah. why would we even give up a two? Now, if the guy wasn't injured, maybe it's an entertainable rumor, okay, because no. it makes sense. Why would we trade for a QB that's already hurt? Come on now. Yeah, it it's, doesn't make any sense. It's so what? It doesn't make any sense in that regard. But we're going to crowd our roster with 
uh, 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 three guys that are fragile. It doesn't make any sense. We're not giving up any draft stock for Tua. Stop it. The desperation. No, stop it. Okay. That's it. The desperation is unbelievable. I get it. We need a quarterback. Guess what? It ain't going to be Tua. He sucks. Okay. He hasn't proven anything. And yet people love the idea of him coming because it could potentially make oh, his upside is so good. I mean, it no, it is really make no, it is better. Shut the fuck up. Absolutely not nothing sends up any, better. any red flags with anybody. Okay. For one, Miami really clearly is just circling around with their eyes closed. They don't know what the hell they're doing, especially with them and the Texans. They have sent so many picks back and forth and so many players back and forth. The Dolphins, I would like to see. Okay, let's just say they do make this trade for Watson. All right. We know what that's going to cost. An arm and a freaking leg. It's going to cost multiple ones and twos. Now, granted, they got a good trade last year where they picked up a couple. But how many did they also move around with the Texans, including first round players like Mika Fitzpatrick? Uh, Laramie Tunzel, Laramie Tunzel, yeah, yeah, right, yeah, and to to be able to draft Tua, and now they're going to give up on him after forcing Fitzpatrick out so that he could come in. I mean, it, none of it makes any fucking sense. No, there's right when the when the when the homeless guy is down the street screaming freaking unintelligible garbage. Don't stand there and listen to him and go. You know, eventually he's going to make sense. We should we should pay attention. Well, and, and to that's my the point. point. Right, and to and my point is is that. <sighs> Fans, right? They they climbed on this topic. Well, we know that, right? But they 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 climbed onto this topic as if this could possibly legit happen, and they're linking it to right. But the source said, but they're linking it to well, Ron Rivera likes them. Listen, you know, I like watching Pornhub. It doesn't mean (laughs) that anyone wants to see me perform the Caucasian Sasquatch on my wife. No one wants to view that. I'm not right. sure where that I'm, I I thought you were going to say, but you don't want any of their actors coming over to your house for dinner. I don't know where the hell you're going with that. <laughs> I'm saying I, I, I like porn hub. Have over for dinner. I you would love would. to, I would love to do a cameo on porn, porn hub called really Keith gray. The Caucasian ambassador. Sasquatch. ambassador no, 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 you Sasquatch. Gotta leave that out. You got to leave that out. <laughs> Caucasian Sasquatch, right? I would watch myself with my wife, but I don't think others would want to. So my point is, if that even makes sense. <laughs> no, not really. But okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Keep going. You're on to something. What was your point? <laughs> I don't even know. Tua is garbage. He's putrid. <laughs> so. You can watch like, you know, hot Estonian women making love over on Pornhub, or you could watch Keith. I think that's what you were trying to say. Pretty much. And Keith would be like bringing Tua here where, okay. I guess. That's, that's what I, mean, I, that's why I got I like that. Pornhub, <laughs> but no one wants to see me perform. <laughs> he likes tour, uh, Pornhub. I like he Tua, doesn't like Tua. But I don't want to see him perform in Washington football team gear. Sorry. So in our analogy, Washington football team is actually the sex. I don't know where it is you get off with your ambassador stuff. What you do at night with your sash is beyond me. <laughs> He's telling on himself. All right. So uh, here, let me pull up my little list of things to talk about here. Since we've gone around and laughed at everybody about the two watt rumor. All right. So we got the Falcons coming up. Is this a get right game? Is this a get right game? Yeah. All right. Uh, Keith, tell me why it's a get right yeah, game. Yeah. Go ahead, All Keith. Right. Yeah. It's a get right game. <clears throat> But the problem is, is if we win, people are going to say, well, it's against the Falcons, right? But if we're sticking to straight, is it a get right game? Yeah, because we need a W. If not, it is code red. Um, Absolutely, because the next two following games after that is Saints and Chiefs. We're in trouble if we don't win this game. So it is definitely a get right game. Saints are so hot and cold. And, you know, let's see what, what the Chiefs do against the Eagles. Stop. We barely beat the Giants. Okay, well, the Saints it. are a way better team than the Giants. I get I'm, it. Well, now I'm, that you brought I'm, up the Giants, I'm, Go I'm gonna I'm gonna break it down real quick. This is not only a get right game, but you have to get right in uh, an exclamation point of fashion. It's got to be. It can't be close. Okay. No. We we can't. We, you know, winning nineteen to twenty against a Atlanta Atlanta Falcon team the way they are. 
that will mean nothing to me whatsoever. That's almost a loss to me because this team is that bad. If they want to get right, they need to really get right and really put it to them. I, I mean, it's got it's got to be a, a, a touchdown plus win, and it's got to be done in, in, in easy fashion. It, it can't be a squeaker to be able to uh, get right. Otherwise, same same fucking shit. It won't mean nothing to me. I've had squeakers that have led to bigger things, so it can be a get right. But I, I think this is a get right game. But is it a get right game for us? That's the you know the big question because they're just they're about the same as us. They really don't know what they are right now. I have a feeling though that. Matt Ryan's not mobile. We should be able to get to him. Uh, we should be able to get to him early and smack his big, long, yeah, skinny head around. They have a shitty some. offensive line, and our defense is, is, is bad, too. I would say that the over-under on people tweeting out jokes about Young Way Koo and how he spells his name as Young Ho, uh, I would put it at 36. What do you think about that? I don't want to see him on the field very much, maybe once for a kickoff in the first or second half, and eh, I'll let him have a field goal or something like that. So, yeah. We're all agreed. It's a get right game. It goddamn well better to be a get right game. So uh, I know, Jesse, you tweeted to me earlier that you had a question that you wanted to slide into here. And I can't remember what it was. So what was the question you wanted oh, to slide into about, here? You, know, you know, who, who you know, it's, it's a hot topic, not only, uh, not only on radios, but on, on Twitter as well. Like, who is to blame in, in this, the start of the season? You know, is, is it more blame on the players or is it more <clears throat> blame on the coaches? Um, and, and, you know, I wanted to get y'all's takes on that. Well, I'll tell you what, I, I gave a listen to John Kimes podcast this week with Logan Paulson on it. And they were talking about the defense and they never once brought up the linebackers even once. What they did bring up was why we're seeing some of these soft zones is we got a lot of new people back there that don't really know how to play together yet. Uh, the defensive line has been playing individually. Okay. But as a unit, they're not playing, they're not doing anything together. So maybe they're right. Maybe it just takes a little bit more time. I'm still not sold on Bostic or Holcomb. Uh, I did. I ran into the Bostic bunch this week over on Facebook. My God, man, there's people that actually defend this guy. I can't believe it. But I mean, there the proof is. is in the pudding. If you can't actually see that they're not good, then you just don't know what you're – you don't you don't know anything about football. And, and I, I mean – I don't know anything about football, and I know that they're not good. Yeah, yeah, the reason I you mean, know Bostic's name so well is you see it on the yeah. field, running down the field, chasing somebody because yeah, you fucking, see the back of his fucking jersey. Again. And you his see the back of his right jersey there all the time, right? Yeah, uh, uh, Keith, what do you th what do you think? Wait, wh who, who's who's to blame to, for? Because it's not just that we're losing; it's just the fashion that we're doing it uh, in. Man, it's it's just it's, it's, it doesn't look good whatsoever yeah i'm blaming the players i mean at the end of the day they have to execute and that's just something that they're not doing so you know what what will keep the coaches from getting blame is if they're trying to adjust their game plans so far it doesn't seem like they have done that yet they're not so no, no they're not uh again you know we see very minimal blitzes in games um, they're just, it seems like they are sticking to the zone. Um, it just right now, I'm not ready to blame the coaches. I've seen that stuff out there. I've seen, well, is this, you know, they're, they're, they're comparing, you know, Ron Rivera's age to like, you know, Sean McVay's age. And they're just saying, is it, is it the fact that old coaches just don't have it like these new coaches? And I, I don't believe in that yeah, because you still have guys like either. you still have guys like Billichek in the league. And, you know, yeah. the guy, you know, I, you know, last episode, I was ridiculous by saying he sucks. Tom Brady did everything at the end of the day, though. He was a you got a visit from the NFL's guys in black, didn't you? They showed up at your house. Excuse <laughs> Shit, me, sir. Right. You were speaking badly about Bill. <laughs> they knocked on my Tom door Brady. and they were like, quit talking about football, buddy. You know nothing. And I was like, eh, well, you're right. <laughs> you know, people forget that McVay. I mean, he's he is brilliant he's absolutely he a brilliant football he, mind. he's got a photographic memory too it's yeah, amazing like, yeah it's, it's, it's amazing he he can call out a play that he did five years ago you, you know, can tell him down in play. distance yeah. time of a time of the yeah. game from a game six years ago and he'll tell you the play he called and he'll be right yeah. i think if we but, were getting beat if we were getting beat three six seven points by these well, teams you know, come maybe on. you could blame cut no, no no i'm saying maybe you could blame coaches for that Right, we got beat by four from San Diego, who's looking but it pretty good. Should have been more. You, you, okay, but it we, wasn't. 
But well, again, we blame players. We didn't blame coaches on that, though. And yeah, that's the my Bills point. beat the shit out of us. Well, let, 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 but the thing, I, but with the what I'm trying to say though is, is with the Chargers, we didn't blame coaches. We blame the players. Execution. Well, we're in week three going we into, know? or we're in week four right now. <laughs> we're blaming players right now. For me, it's not going to be until later on where I start, you know, blaming coaches because I'm saying, listen, nothing you're doing is working, and you're not adjusting. You're not. You're you're, you're not sticking to your game plan you're not sticking to the run you're not doing anything to help this team and we can also blame the players on top of that because they're not executing it's it's putrid right I, now i'm i'm so with how much you of it can be fixed since before sunday how much can be fixed i i don't know but i, I it's it, that remains to be seen and probably not much but i'm with keith on this you know i put about 85 percent of the blame on the players himself um and, and that other 15 percent math lesson of the day that equals 100%. And uh, <laughs> those, those are on the coaches it, it, for Mr. Math. maybe not adjusting the scheme. But, you know, Ron Rivera is known for saying that if the players do what they're told and they, it, 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 and they fail, the blame goes on us. But if they go off and do their own thing, the blame's on them. And you can – by Ron Rivera's uh, uh, and, and even Jack Del Rio's actions – there's a, you know, there's a lot of immaturity going around. You can see it on film. Brian, uh, uh, was it Brian uh, Baldinger put out that video oh, yeah. uh, the other day it, of pure laziness, it seemed like. And that was like the fifth play of the season. Now, what I do blame the, on the yeah. coaches is maybe pulling out. I, and I don't know how much this has to do with, with, with the coaches um, and, and, and pulling their best pass rushers off of third and longs. I agree. I think you always that, pull out. The, 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 I, I would assume that's you know the the <laughs> the coaches uh, that are pulling Montez Sweat and, and, and Chase Young out in third and 16, third and twelves. Why are you pulling them out? I do question them for that. But as far as adjusting the scheme, like last year, even when we played good teams last year, it didn't look this bad. Uh, I think no, that they like, thought, like I go- said, if, give a listen to that podcast I was tell- just mentioning with uh, Logan Paulson and how he basically calls out that there's a lot of things that are going on because of a lack of familiarity. So they're calling it too vanilla and they are not in any way disguising what they're doing. As soon as the quarterback breaks the huddle, he knows what we're doing and we don't change anything. We don't do anything it, differently it, could, to try to show a different look. Could it be and the fact that they just don't, they're, they're it could be they're stupid. I mean, but I don't, think you, that's you know, but, but it's weird because last season they played better and they didn't have an off season to fucking learn all this shit. And you know what I say? It's supposed to be the same fucking if, scheme. If you think, uh, yeah. They're professionals. If you can't do something simple, like change a coverage up, you know, or show something different pre-snap, then what the fuck dude, stop coaching scared. That's what I think. I, that, yeah. That. I think that they were staying, they're staying with the zone coverage because they feel that that type of defense, uh, is probably best to what we currently have back there. But what they were hoping for is that they would get more D line pressure, which yeah. they haven't done. And unfortunately, the zone has not worked. It does all because these linebackers the are getting defensive killed. Line. The, yep. the, right. It all starts with the defensive line and it works uh, their, their way back. So I, I definitely agree with you on that. I will wait. So how you much know, can you like... fix before Sunday? How much can you fix before Sunday, Jesse? <sighs> yeah. I got to tell you guys, I don't. I, I don't know if you can fix stuff like this midseason. Uh, it starts know, with your defense. It's the line. beginning. We're still in the first quarter of the season. We, we, we are, but it's game mode. They only pla- practice three fucking days a week. You know, that's all it, they ever have done. But yeah, it, 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 it's hard to just to try to overhaul anything, especially with the players that you have. I mean, you can't, unfortunately, you can't just replace a, a, a John Bostic or a Cole Holcomb because you really don't have nothing behind them besides Jamin Davis and he's still getting his feet wet although I would love to for him to be out there 100 percent of the fucking time uh, I, I I don't understand why he's not getting more playing time because he seems to be better than they're, any they're of coaching three scared plays. they're coaching scared you know they're last like year they all the time in the world last year Del Rio and company they made better adjustments at halftime you haven't yeah. seen that yet this year Hell yeah, we that's what you said. That was the hallmark of last year. Anyway, yeah. Keith, what do we what can be fixed since before Sunday? Before Sunday, what can we fix? <clears throat> Defensive line. These guys ah. were here. These guys were here last year. 
I mean, basically they got to bully the offensive line. They got to, they got to really, they got to play hard 100%. And that is one of the reasons that uh, Chase Young has been getting a, a lot of negative attention was because it seems like he's not giving the hundred percent. His hands are always on his hip. They're saying that he's gassed. I, you know, listen, I, I don't look that deep into it when I'm watching the game. So I'm not necessarily paying attention to that type of stuff, but um, you know, what can be fixed is, you know, the defensive line clicking together and playing better. I mean, playing together. Right. And, and yeah. that can be fixed. But if you're talking, what can we do about our linebacking situation? We're fucked. Well, I'm just saying in general, what can be fixed. And one of the things that I think can be fixed right away uh, by one person. Don't fucking coach scared. This is Matt Ryan. And I don't care. Anybody want to tell me anything about anybody. Oh, you Matt Ryan. Matt fuck that pencil neck you you're gonna tell me go get him go after them do something different don't just come out there vanilla and sit there back there waiting for him to just pick you apart go force him to throw the ball away force him to fumble force him to throw interceptions we're not getting turnovers because we're, we're doing all this vanilla stuff so that's where i think we can fix things before sunday so if we well, win what does it say right and, and you know to add to that it seems like they're playing zone because they don't want to give up the big play. Well, they'd say there's no familiarity. That right. These but, players, they, they don't really connect together yet, so they don't really want to know where each other is, so they're making these mistakes. And they don't want to give up the big play. But but the problem with that is, is that's telling just me let that march you, down the field. Right. That's telling me that you have no confidence in your secondary. It, it might so, help to, to uh, stop putting Landon Collins out on the field as well or at least play him primarily in the box. Cameron Curl's got to play more than what is he getting? 40, 40% of the plays yeah. or whatever. That's almost 41% from we got a blitz, heard. man. We just got a blitz. Well, that's what you I'm saying. You can fix that D line by blitzing. Just blitz. Just Get go creative. Go gun ho. Who who was the guy that always fucking did it? Who was our coordinator that always just he was not as scared uh, uh, Greg Williams? Uh, yes, Greg, Greg Williams, Giga. man. Greg, Giga. Greg Giga listen, Williams, the freak. Oh, yeah, sorry, listen, we gotta get people scared of this defense again because right now being what 31st, ain't nobody scared of us. Nothing. Yeah, so, and they shouldn't be. They right now, Matt Ryan should be sitting in his freaking quarterback's room with his sure. freaking head way up on top of that neck saying, Well, fellas, if we get after these guys and throw these short passes, they ain't gonna stop us. And he's right. So get in his face. Go do something he's not expecting. That's what I say. All right, so if we lose, what does it say? I mean, it says what it's been saying for, since the start of the season, that we're not good, and, and we we need to blow it up. Uh, and Blow it up? I think, I think you that? got to start looking at individuals now and are they a, are they part of this future? Players or coaches? Players. You, you're talking Rivera? No, no, not Rivera. No, no. I, I don't want him going anywhere. Not anytime soon. I, I, I he's the one bright spot in this franchise, I think, uh, you know, but you got to start looking at Del Rio a little bit, maybe, but morally it's on the individual players. Are they doing their jobs? If they're not get someone else in, even if they're not as talented, at least they might do the, with their assignments properly. Look, the other day I got gas at the local Sunoco up there, and the guy that sits in the little house that takes the freaking money, that guy looked to me like he could play linebacker better than John right, Boss. Put him on in there. Get him I'd on say in. so. Get him in there. All right. So <clears throat> Jamie Collins is available. That motherfucker Jamie needs to be in for a goddamn uh, – at, at, at least a workout. Shit. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, you're going to see these people that stick their nose up and they go, oh, he's a 3 4 linebacker. We I don't a give a three. fuck. It doesn't make a fucking difference because, <laughs> you know, 3 4 4 3 11 0, it doesn't matter. John Bostick's late. He doesn't know what he's yeah. doing. He can't find where he's supposed to go. All right. So to win on Sunday, keys for offense. Keith, what's your key for offense? Since you got food in your mouth, I figure I'll go with you first. <laughs> I'm going to go. A lot of times I always go with what I go. <laughs> <laughs> it's cheese too you know the kind of cheese like, <laughs> uh, i thought it was peanut butter nah, cheese. It's cheese cubes oh yeah i love cheese man it's cheese cubes and so you know it goes all in and around anyways so keys to victory for offense it's the same thing minimize the turnovers no you know obviously no turnovers um continue to run the ball own time of possession um you know and uh just make smart plays you know the offense was hideous against the Bills, but played better than I thought they would. Now, many people may not agree with me, but considering the circumstances where it was windy out. Hmm? 
Can you name the people that wouldn't agree with you? you say there's many, but there's. I, I mean, I'm not going to put people out. I'm just saying in general. I no, think, I mean, do you have a list uh, of players or people that we are like saying, to be accurate here? No, just to, you know, how many people are. <laughs> what the are fuck is this? Are you you're like? Are you fucking CIA, FBI? <laughs> what the fuck? I wasn't Try prepared to, for that. Run a clean show here. Yeah, I've had it. Listen, I've had a good show. I've given some fucking. Uh, great analysis here and now you're trying to fucking <laughs> you know take me down to shithead level again i don't have well anything. not really what was the question again <laughs> oh i don't know <laughs> the remember. keys to the key, game your keys to the game on offense <laughs> sorry it's friday afternoon man listen <laughs> time of possession run the ball they right. should open up the passing game get your receivers involved get terry mclaurin involved minimize your mistakes I mean, it's it's pretty simple to me every single game that that's the way that it should be never plays out that way. But I think if we can control time of possession, we're going to do much better. All right, Jesse, more specific. What's yeah, look, I, I think more uh, specific. Because uh, uh, yeah. you kind of covered the, all of the big, bro- the big broad strokes. So Keith, uh, Keith, uh, Keith hit the nail on the head that run game, man. Um, See, obviously, like you, Jesse. Uh, obviously, Jeez, makes you uh, a bitch, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> i love you john uh obviously we've got to mi- uh, minimize the turnovers but uh antonio gibson you, you know the, all this talk about them wanting him to be a christian mccaffrey type player let's get him fucking touches man get him yeah. touches whether it, 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 it's through the air or on the ground he needs to touch the ball at least 20 times a game. Uh, um, I mean, you saw what he could do on that 73 yard pass uh, uh, versus last week versus Buffalo. Um, but I think he's got to have, he, he's averaging what five yards a carry 4.9 yards a carry or something it's like close. that. Too. It's like 4.8. Something yeah. Like that. So, uh, I mean, take us with you. Why, why not just, just fucking just just keep utilizing them. And another good thing too, uh, Curtis Samuel is going to be on the field uh, for the first time in a burgundy and gold uniform. Uh, is it I'm, like I'm an highly, usher's outfit. Is he going to play? Yeah, he's going to play. Yeah, all right. He's good I to go. Just showing people they, to this. I expect they his say. snaps to be limited. Yeah, I, I I would too. But you know, there could be a package of plays in there for him that that you know. Uh, it's no the package. It's his package that's been a problem. So let's hope we don't get to see his groin at all. Yeah, we know that's, Jesse that's, that's absolutely is used true. to seeing packages. Uh, that's, oh, that's, all right, so that's... you guys hit all the offensive keys. I'm going to start with the defense, and I just want to see disguise, man. I want to see something change. Ooh, I thought we were just Bef- doing offense. At... Okay. Oh, no, no. We got them both. Oh, Shit, yeah, man. Oh. This is a full freaking uh, – this is a full well, My defense show. is key is motherfucker. They better fuck Matt Ryan up, motherfuckers. That one is important. I'm hoping pretty, that they've got a, a bunch of plays in place for that. But, yeah, man, disguise something. Show Matt Ryan multiple looks. Show him something mm-hmm. other than whatever he sees as soon as he steps on the I field. I want to see a corner blitz, you know, that one that uh, that Mix uh, it Kendall up. Fuller yeah. had. Uh, that, that, that was a good play, you know. You got nothing to lose. Yeah. Uh, Tory McTire is playing. Um, uh, uh, Benjamin St. Juice is out with a concussion, so – uh, you know, send, send one of them outside corner blitz. Come on, bring it in. Do, do something different. Yeah, that's what I'd like to see. All right, so uh, that's going to really pretty much cover it for the game, unless you got any other thoughts about it. Yeah, no, I guess we're going to do game predictions a little little while. So uh, we'll Yeah, we'll do there. game predictions in a little while. We can go back to it. Uh, but well, right now, I, I'll tell you what, we're going to talk about – what do you got there, Keith? Nothing. Oh, nothing. All right. Then let's move to the rest of the NFC East. And you know what? I'm just, my fucking brain is going too fast from my mouth. So I'm going to slow things down. We're going to talk about the NFC East and the games that are coming up with them. The Chiefs are coming into Philadelphia. Um, Honest to God, I really don't understand what's up with the Chiefs. I know that they've played some decent opponents, but they're making silly mistakes. Yes, they are. Yeah. You You know, and uh, Pat Mahomes is not known for turning the ball over and he's been turning the ball over. uh, That's for sure. But I expect they're going to be looking at this game against Philly like a get right game for them too. So I think they are. Uh, uh, Jalen Hurts. I mean, what does he say? You know, you know, one you you don't flush, you flush it, right? You don't turn around and look at it. <laughs> I, I think he's going to be he's going to be leaving a lot on the field that nobody wants to. When, step when, in when Keith when when Keith put that tweet out, I, I was like. I was I was about to tweet out. Uh, you know what, Keith? You seem like a guy that does look at your turds before you flush. <laughs> probably got. A, I checked to make sure there's no pictures. blood in it. <laughs> yeah. I am 42. I haven't been checked out yet, so. Do it. 
All right, so the Giants go down and play New Orleans. Are they going zero and four? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. And I then, and so. then the the because Saints win, then lose, and win. Did they lose last week? Uh, yeah, no, they won last week in New England. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, they're still going to lose. So. Yeah, the Giants fucking stink. Um, yeah. I, I loved this week that they that, that it came out that John Mara got himself so upset the other day after he lost that he punched a trash can. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was a Bleacher Report. He punched a trash can. (laughs) (laughs) You know, you know, there's surveillance video of it somewhere. I want to see see it. it. I want to see that bastard freaking kick a trash can. So the Giants have definitely approved that I know absolutely nothing about football. Yeah, no, man. I was predicting this team to be uh, uh, with with Washington as you know competitive for the division. Um, they got players. They, they got do good got players. good players. They got a hell of a defense yeah. too, man. And, and yeah. I think it's coaching. I think Joe Judge is fucking in over his head. He needs to go back to special. Real teams. Belichick does not make good special. He, he's his his coaching branch offs that come off of him do not last very long. No, not, not as head no. coaches. Romeo Cornell did in Cleveland for a long time, and I think that was really because his ass got so big they couldn't get him out of the stadium. <laughs> <laughs> all right it's so the probably, panthers no, it's probably because the, the browns they, they could they couldn't find anybody else to coach that team so cornell was the only one that would <laughs> they gave him a good long time all right so the panthers are going down to play the cowboys does anybody believe in sam darnold all of you people no. with your uh if he beats the cowboys uh, so much thought, of okay, this yeah I, 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 my mind would change but all this oh we should have got sam darnold listen Sam no. Darnold has played the bottom of the barrel teams in the uh, the NFL, um, and, and the Panthers have a good defense. Uh, I still think Sam Darnold sucks. Yeah, they have a good defense up against two rookie quarterbacks yeah. in their first game ever at a team that had seven coaches out for COVID with Jameis Winston, who, as anybody knows, did you see the touchdown he threw last week where he was getting tackled and he basically just closed his eyes and threw it up and the dude caught it? I think that's what, that's his move. He just closes his eyes and throws it up and and hopes it fucking lands. It worked last week. So yeah, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not so impressed with the Panthers at all. I will be if they can hang tight with the Cowboys. But one thing I noticed last week with the Panthers, even in a uh, playing against a bad Texans team is that Darnold stands in the pocket forever. The Cowboys are going to rock his big square head. Yeah, All the right. Cowboys are good, unfortunately. They're good. Yeah, I'm thinking they're going to come out of the weekend probably in first place with uh, – I hope if, – if we win, then we should step up into second place. The Eagles will drop down. The Giants, they'll be 0-4, and, and maybe maybe John Mara will if ball up win. a piece of paper and throw it on the ground. Hey, you bastards. <laughs> I hope – I hate that motherfucker. All right, so we do have to take a break right now. We'll be right back after this fine commercial message. Are you a Washington football fan active on social media? Hell yeah. Go team. Have you ever been called an idiot or told you didn't know anything about football? Oh yeah, all the time, moron. Washington football fans active on social media. This is for you. It's the complete Washington football fan real-time overreaction kit. Now you can share your stupidity instantly during the game as it happens over all your social media platforms. Oh, wow. Want to fire a coach or a player? That's what I would do. Just select their name and your dumbass post will write itself. That's cool. Instantly access a complete list of players we could have had that are better than the sorry-ass motherfucker you're watching out there on the field. I told you, we should have signed Sam Darnold. The complete Washington football fan real-time overreaction kit allows you to immediately say some stupid shit and then move seamlessly to the next stupid shit you want to say without having to back anything up with facts or reality. We should sign Cam Newton. He's better than anybody we yeah. With one click, you can choose from hundreds of pre-written posts to instantly access the most popular game day comments. Comments like, I told y'all this team sucks, but nobody wanted to listen to me. John Bostic couldn't tackle my grandma. We should have drafted Justin Herbert. Why can't we stop anybody? What the fuck is this? What the fuck was that? Fuck this shit. I'm done with this team. That sounds awesome. Download the Washington football fan real-time overreaction kit right now and let everybody know that you're the genius and you should be running the team. And we are back. Welcome back once again. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> you didn't want me to do something else different for the last couple of weeks. You wrote you wrote a song for me to do, but I, I that came to me this afternoon, and I was like, you know what? Let me just throw this together. <laughs> it's so fitting, and so many people could use yeah. that cat. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> say any names or anything like that. But it is time for our NFL picks. All right, um, I guess I should put some cool music on behind us when we do this. So if you're watching on video, you'll see me. Yeah, you know, I guess you'll you'll know that I did it. Uh, all right, let's see. So let me pull up our picks right now. And Keith is in the lead. He got 14 right last week. Holy shit. 
against the yeah, spread? No. no, we're not picking against the spread. I oh. wish we would have, but you know, fuck it. I thought I picked. I, I picked against the spread. We can oh. pick against the spread and start now. It's it doesn't no, matter. I don't it's change like, it now. I mean, that's what I thought. We, what I thought we, we were doing. missed the first two weeks anyway. Who cares? I'm in the lead. Okay, well, shit. Don't you I don't even know what a spread yourself? is except for when I'm upstairs with my wife. <laughs> you can look it up on Pornhub. <laughs> yeah. Caucasian look up, spot. look up, look up BBW spread. <laughs> <laughs> God, <laughs> move it along. All right, so we've all picked again. All right, we you know, we all picked the Chiefs. Okay, the Chiefs are favored by seven over the Eagles. We all went with that one. Let me just go ahead and make my marks here. I got to figure out a way to get around this thing. All right. And we all picked the Saints, so we're going to take with that. We all picked the Cowboys. Is that correct? We didn't go. Nobody went with the Panthers? Nope. Mm -mm. Cowboys are only a four-point favorite. Remember I told you last week that the Dolphins and Raiders line looked weird? Yeah. Vegas knows something. Well, look what happened. Look what happened. That game stayed tight. Didn't didn't the Raiders win in overtime? So I think they covered the spread because they scored a touchdown. No, they didn't. No, it was – they didn't cover the spread. Oh, that's right. It was a field goal. They yeah. cover the spread. So, so there you go. They know something. In this game, the Cowboys minus four over the Panthers. Are, they, is Vegas really that impressed with I, the, I the guess Panthers they're that because high of three and defense. O? Yeah. Defense. Man, I'll tell you what. I, we've watched the Cowboys in two or games take down some serious teams. There's probably a lot, a lot of well, money in. It's teams. probably they probably have a lot of money in on the the Cowboys. So they wanted to to move the spread yeah. to get more money in on the Panthers. And of course, we're using the spread from Caesar's Sportsbook, and the only reason why is because they made JB Smoove Caesar in the commercials, and I like him. So okay. there you go. All right, so JB Smoove has set the line for the Bills and the Texans at 17. Jesus Christ, the Bills are favored by 17 over the Texans at home, but we're not using the spread, I guess. Even if we were, I'd give the 17 points. I'm going to go ahead and pick them. Keith, who are you taking in this game? What's the mystery? Well, what, what, wait a minute. Don't, don't take the spread. So you're picking. I'd, you picking I'd pick bills? it anyway. What? Yeah, I'm picking the Bills. I'm taking the oh, Bills. Okay. And they're going to they're gonna cover that 17. Yeah, Bills. Yeah, me too. Okay. I mean, that's this. That's, that's, yeah. That would be stupid. I'd take the, I, 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 would, I would take the points too uh, anyway, so. All right. Now, the Lions are going into Chicago to play the Bears. Today, I conducted a very scientific uh, survey of what people would rather watch, which would, would would they go to the Lions and Bears game or would they rather watch two drunk old men fight in the 7-Eleven parking lot? And two drunk old men fighting in the 7-Eleven parking lot was the overwhelming favorite, even though a couple of people were smart enough to say that's going to happen at the game. So you might as well go. <laughs> so, all right, the Bears are favored by three. Who do you think is going to win this trash fest? The Lions with their tough talk and coach, Mr. Cliche. I'm, I'm going with the Lions. Bears? Me too. I'm going to I think the Bears are terrible. I mean, they're both terrible. Um, okay, so I, they're not even. They're not I even the old men. <clears throat> yeah, they're not even announcing who the QB is for that that Bears game yeah. <clears throat> for the Bears until game time. It's a game well, decision, is what was said. They've said that if Andy Dalton's ready to go, it's his job. So, yeah. which I think is pretty smart. I mean, Justin Fields, my God, he looked he looked terrible last week. Did you see the first throw that he threw? The first yeah. throw that he threw sailed over this guy's hands by, I swear to God, it sailed over his hands by eight feet. It probably hit somebody in the crowd. Then he gets <laughs> anyway. sacked eight times. He got beat up. You know, and yeah. they're not a very good football team, and throwing him to the Wolves would not be a smart thing to do. Look, I, uh, you know, say what you want about the Lions. They do play hard for that coach. Uh, and, yeah, they, they just, I mean, they're just not that talented. They're not that good, but they they play hard. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick the Lions to win this one. Me too. All right, Keith, did you pick the Lions? Yeah. All right. This is an interesting game here. The Browns are going to Minnesota and they're favored by two. The Browns are favored. This by is two probably going to be Minnesota. a good game. This is going to be a good yeah. game. And uh, I'm going to go. I'm going to go with the Browns. All right. Who you got, Keith? Yeah. Put me on the Vikings. Listen, I, as much as it pains me to say this, Kirk Cousins is having a. Uh, Another he's good playing season. Well. He's very playing, yeah. playing very well. He's playing well. And I just think the Browns, the Browns are on the verge of being one of those teams that are going to consistently be good for a few years. But I just don't think that they're quite there yet. And I think that the Vikings are and can beat them. Is Dalvin Cook playing? That good I don't question. know. 
he's practiced. Uh, he's had some limited practice, but I don't know that he's playing or not. Yeah. They don't I mean, lose much. He's, I mean, they yeah, don't, that's if he's not Madison playing. Is a it's damn good back. That, that yeah, he is. Badass. If he's but not I'm playing, gonna, Jesse's pick probably makes more sense. It probably does. Yeah. But I'm also going to pick the Browns because I do think they're there. I think that the Browns uh, right now their their Super Bowl contention status is only. There's two teams standing in their way that are bigger than them right now, and the Bills yeah. and the Chiefs. But they're a damn good football team. Odell Beckham Jr. came back last week and got eight targets just like that. I think he was 31% of their offense or something I read, which I think is almost 32%. Jesse, can I get a confirmation on that? Yes, sir. That is correct. There we go, Mr. Matt. Thank you very much. So uh, Jesse and I are taking the Browns. Keith is taking the Vikings because he likes his cake cousins. Go cake. <laughs> You know, and you might be 100% correct about the Browns, too. I think that for me, I just always in the back of my head have the idea that it's the Browns, you know. It, you and, know the thing about the, uh, the Vikings is they're de- – you know, in, in years past, they've had a pretty decent defense, and it just hasn't been there um, the past two years, and, and that hasn't helped Kirk Cousins. But Kirk Cousins has definitely been playing well. I think it's going to be a good game. Uh, the line does make sense. Oh, what, what, you said the Browns were favored by Browns two. Browns favored by two. Yeah. yeah, the line does make sense. Um, are they playing in Minneapolis? They're playing in, in Minneapolis. Yeah, okay. That's a nice stadium. That's it a is gorgeous a nice stadium. stadium. Um, but I still think – uh, the Browns defense is is really, really good. They got some good defensive backs as well, too. They are going to bust up Kirk Cousins pretty good, and I think that uh, that means, Jesse, next week your your scheduled White Claw and Cheese Party with Kirk Cousins is going to have to be rescheduled. <laughs> okay. Damn. Uh, the, tit- the Titans are going to New York to play the Jets. All right. So, again, Vegas with their weird lines. Uh, the Titans are only favored by six and a half over the Jets. You'd think they'd be favored by 12. They're so much bigger. They're so much stronger. They're so much better. And the Jets are just the Jets. They are constantly the Jets. I thought I saw a stat or somebody put out that the Jets are ranked like number six in defense in the whole league. That's kind of crazy to think. But I know they just don't have an offense, and and Zach Wilson turns it over. That might be why, because he's constantly giving them the ball close to their own end zone. They're not giving up too many yards before a touchdown happens. Yeah, that's kind of a weird line, but I'm still taking the Titans plus the points. Hell yeah. So, yeah. So, in my league where uh, I do this for money, um, last year I went 17 and 0, which never been done in this league. Um, And uh, just, well, and the thing was, is, you know, I I was picking games where teams were winning big. And and honestly, I wasn't paying attention to spreads at all. This year, I think I'm kind of kicking myself in the ass because I'm paying attention to spread originally uh before the start of the season uh uh uh, i go through and i actually have my picks and i try to do less changing through uh the season or making adjustments because if i make one adjustment then i have to go through the whole and make make more adjustments so the reason why i'm telling you guys this is because originally i did have the titans over the jets thinking that the titans would uh definitely uh, uh beat the jets more by uh what that spread is saying but when I saw that uh, uh, Vegas was giving 17, I'm like, ah, oh, man, I got to make this change, um, you know, and, and, and go after the Bills. So or go for, you know, and pick the Bills, so to speak. Are, are you confused at what I'm saying? Is this another Pornhub thing? No, <laughs> no. It, it, no originally, I, pit, I just thought that the spread would be much different. Yeah, I thought it would be higher. Yeah, I think. Yeah, that's higher. what I mean. Yeah. That's what I'm trying right, to so say. You're taking, you're taking the Jets, is what I got from. This. No, sir, I'm taking the you're Titans. Taking the Jets. Well, well, spread would have been higher. Sorry, Jesse AJ, was talking. You're taking a, the Jets. A, I'm putting you. AJ down the Brown. Jets. No. <laughs> AJ Brown and Julio Jones are not playing in that game. I think that's why the spread is uh, small, because mm. no, no, they don't have any wide receivers. So it's going to be a heavy Derrick Henry game. But uh, I mean. Makes Julio sense. has Julio hasn't done really much this year, but AJ Brown's one of the top receivers in the league. So, are they putting eleven potential targets on defense for uh, Zach Wilson to throw at? Possibly. Then that's really the all it's going to take. He's just going to keep giving the ball up. All right, the Colts and the Dolphins for this. This is really the game of the week that looks like just a, a ham sandwich on dry white bread. This doesn't yeah. look very very appetizing uh dolphins <clears throat> are a two-point favorite at home this is the jacoby Brissett revenge tour look tom brady going back up to new england oh, is getting all the headlines hold on. but jacoby Brissett against the against the colts this is 
And the Dolphins are favored? Yeah, the Dolphins are favored. They're at home, and it's a two-point uh, spread. They're favored over the Colts. That's Is Carson Wentz going to play? Is there any limbs left that he can sprain? Yeah, I got the Colts. I, I think Miami's trash. You do? I do. They played pretty well last week. They got a good defense. And it's Jacoby yeah. Brissett going back against the Colts. The Colts got them. a good defense, too. Yeah. I think this is going to be a good game that no one's going to care about. Yeah, I don't have two shits about this game. I don't care about <laughs> So who are you taking? You're taking the Colts. I am going to take the Miami Dolphins because this is the Jacoby Brissett comeback. And kick that ass <laughs> All right. All right, the Cardinals are playing in Los Angeles in their beautiful new stadium against the Rams. Uh, the Rams this are a three a and a half game. point favorite. This is a damn good game. Good um, game. And I, I am really sitting on the fence with this one. So I don't know who which way to go just yet. So I'm going to listen to whichever one uh, Keith picks and go with him because he gets all of them right. Oh, so you go first, sir. Um, oh, yeah, I, I, you got to go with the hot hand. I mean, they're both hot hands, but they the are. Ram, the Rams are the are the thing right now. So I, I'm going to go with them. But damn, it's a good game. They are the thing. It's a good game. I'm excited to to watch. All right, to, who are you taking, Keith? To watch. It. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and take the Rams on this one. And the only reason why I'm taking the Rams is uh, Cardinals gives up points. They give up a lot of points in games. Yeah. Um, even against the Jaguars, they gave up 19. So when they were down 19 to three, right? Yeah. Well, they, they gave yeah. up 33 to the Vikings too. You know, and so they're a beatable team. Um, I just don't think their defense is there yet uh, to get them. You know, to that big game. So, uh, you know, like I said, Rams have just been – they've looked insane. And I, t- so I, I told you all in the beginning of the season that there's going to be four teams coming out of the NFC West, and I strongly still did. believe that. Well, Kirk, Kirk I, I believe obviously crazy. Matthew Stafford is a huge – Oh, yeah. Uh, I, got the, a, a I got the Bills reason. I got the Bills and Rams in the Super Bowl, so. And listen, we saw, we saw Matthew Stafford take the Lions and make them somewhat decent. Right, but the team has always been terrible for years. Yeah, no, but he's put up good numbers. He, yeah. You he's always been had to worry about quarterback. him, but they were never anything. Even no, but, they had talent. But yeah. he right, but he put up big numbers for the the shit talent that he's had. Yeah. Now you put him on a team that's got talent. You're you're seeing what he can do with the best. This is play, why I wanted the best the, play caller. Well, we tried. Business, you know. The, well, and this is Robert why I wanted tried. the guy. Mm-hmm. And this is, and I don't think he would have been as successful coming here as he is right now currently with the Rams. They are just an overall way better team with better talent, in my opinion. But um, you know, this is We'd why I wanted better. the guy. The the guy's just he, he is one of the toughest quarterbacks yeah. I've seen. Guy's durable. He's been hurt several. He just stays in games. Like he is. He's the man. And I'm glad he's ha- finding success right now. Oh, hell all right. Yeah. I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna do this. Everybody, just pay attention for a second. Because I want to put something in right here. I've got an audio clip of him getting hit uh, when he was a. I don't know if you remember this. Remember he gets that. smashed right. It's like he's like at the eight yard line, and throws a touchdown pass. Oh yeah. Or he, yeah. he 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 breaks his collarbone and he's got he's mic'd mm-hmm. up and you can hear it. Oh my yep. god, he's. <laughs> he goes over on the sidelines on a TV timeout and he gets he makes the coach put him back in. He throws a touchdown pass. He's in so much pain. So I'll see if I can't find that audio and put it in there. And if I don't put it in there, well, it's because I had too many drinks before I finished editing the show. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to take the Rams as well because I think Cooper Cup is on another planet right now. Oh, yeah. He's been playing so insane. well. Yeah. They, they were breaking down some of the routes that he's running this morning while I was watching Good Morning Football. And it's just insane the body control this guy has. It's crazy. All he so, needed yeah, was, the Rams are looking like that Super Bowl team. All he needed was a good quarterback. And he's got he one. He needed some time, too. He, mm. This is his fourth year, sure. right? So, yeah. Sure, he's, but he's, golf sucks. Well, you see what he's doing with Detroit, right? All right, so the Seahawks are going to go into San Francisco. It's better than what we've got on our roster. But... 49ers uh, are going to are favored by three against Seattle. Seattle's not really impressing anybody at the moment. They're, so They're, they're, they're not. Their defense is really letting them down, but I think this is a game that Seattle can win. Um, I think San Francisco is good. They've, been, they've had some injuries uh, uh, again this year. But uh, but they're still a good team. They're still a good good defensive team. I mean, I I'm not a J- Jimmy G believer, uh, but I think. Seattle's so does that mean when win. you watch him on television, you don't actually see him? No, not at all. If you don't believe in him, is he not no. there? No, he's not there. No, I, I think I want to see uh, 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 Trey Lance play, but uh, okay. I think it's good. I think Seattle's going to squeak this one out by probably like a point. A squeaker. A squeaker. 
a squeaker. So okay, so then the 49ers would cover. They so would I cover. Yeah. Against the spread. All right. So Keith, who you got in this game? Seahawks or the home 49ers? Yeah, Seahawks. Obviously, I don't think the Seahawks uh, are what they were in the past. They're not that dominant team where, oh, my God, you don't want to play them. Yeah, um, they, the, the, there's no more Legion of Boom. The they don't, they don't right. The defense. Yeah. yeah, right. But Bobby even Wack. after Legion of Boom, they still were doing well collectively as a team. But you got Russell Wilson. You're going to yeah. win a game. Exactly. And, you know, but lately they've been a team where you haven't had to be too scared of, but you also don't want to go out telling folks that because that's true. They, they will show up and kick your ass. That's exactly. They're, they're capable. Yeah, they're exactly. Capable. And I'm going to go on a limb here and I could be completely wrong, but I think the 49ers are fraudulent. Um, the fraudulent, yep, fraudulent 49ers. I think they're fraudulent. They're um, de- definitely not nearly as good. Uh, they've had some pretty decent injuries uh, in, the, uh, in the first few few games of the season. I don't believe in Garoppolo. No, neither and, do I. I and, so, I, if we all three not believe in Garoppolo, we might really make him disappear. Oh, I'm going to try. <laughs> Start a movement. <laughs> so, we are Garoppolo atheists. Garoppolo <laughs> lives <laughs> matter. Right. No, 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 no. Garoppolo doesn't matter. Oh, so, okay. no, I don't believe in Garoppolo either, and I'm going to go ahead with the Seattle Seahawks yeah. because I always do. I always believe in Russell Wilson. I don't yeah. care what the freaking opposition is. God, he would look good in the burgundy and gold next year. Man. Uh, mm. That sounded extremely sweet. <laughs> All right, so the Ravens are going out to Denver to play the Broncos, and this is a pick em. I can't believe this. I, 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 think, I think the Broncos are fraudulent as well. Um they haven't Just played any. It's just like the Carolina Panthers. They haven't played anybody. Yes, they have a great defense, uh, but I I don't believe in Teddy Bridgewater. I don't think he's that good. I don't think they have that, that good of an offense, and I think the Ravens are going to wipe the fucking floor with them because they did not play. They they won was a seventeen to nineteen against the uh, Lions last week. Lions played them pretty tough, but um, they're this, this they're going to wipe the floor. They're they're probably pissed off at that that game that he had last last week and, and they lost to the lions except for a missed freaking uh yeah but a missed call then that get, gave him the chance to kick the 66 yard field goal yeah so uh so. yeah definitely i definitely got the ravens it's gonna, it's gonna be ravens. a get right game for them i guess who you got keith yeah i'm gonna go with the ravens as well i'm am gonna disagree with jesse though on uh broncos being fraudulent um i don't think that they are you know clear cut you know competitive every week team but i think they're showing flashes and i think it is because of teddy bridgewater i think teddy bridgewater uh is finally getting his chance where he's actually for real 100 percent healthy um he's i don't want to say he was that guy who was turning his career uh to possible eliteness before he had his gruesome injury um but uh, Let's see what happens in this game before yeah, I, I... I need to see him play some good teams. Yeah, before, I, I agree with that. Like, I don't want to say fraudulent. I don't think... I, I, I think that I need more to see before I can use the term fraudulent. Um, I believe in Teddy Bridgewater more than I would Garoppolo. He's a serviceable quarterback, um, but I just don't believe he, he's the Broncos franchise, you know, what they've been looking for for, you know, since... Uh, it's hard to say Since because he Manning. sat the sidelines for for such a long period of time yeah. after that injury yeah. that it's hard to know what you actually have in him now but he's winning right now you know i and think he's playing pretty well right now yeah i agree I, I, I think he's playing well as as a is a reason why they're winning i agree as opposed to you know the schedule he's got but to, got, but got, to like yeah. jesse said though you got to see a little bit more against better competitive teams to see if he's going to continue to play well this weekend, I think that you will. I think that the Ravens are – they're, they're all these injuries are catching up to them. They've had highs. They've had lows. They're going to go out to Denver, and they're going to get smoked because that defense Ooh. is good enough to, yeah. to corral Lam- Lamar, Lamar Jackson. Lamar and there's not has much been else. dealing with a, uh, a back injury, too. He's he, that he gave himself for, for, jump, for flipping into the end zone. Mm. But, you know, Hollywood Brown is dropping passes like they're, they're – like they're I think he's blocked. out. He doesn't – sucks. I have him on my fantasy team, and he dropped yeah. – he, he would have had, like, 30 points. The I think other... that the Ravens can definitely go in there thinking that they're that this is a trap for them, even though it sounds kind of odd that an undefeated team would be a trap game. But I think, yeah, man, give me the Broncos in this one. Wow. Okay. I don't think you're I don't think you're off base on that. 
you know, again, you're you're talking about uh, Ravens going in and playing against another three and O team, and and again, and I know that we're not place. right, and I know that we're not putting the Broncos on that three and O pedestal, but you still have to respect the record. So, so, so okay, who who would y'all, who do you like better, the Panthers or the Broncos? Because to me, they're like the same team. The Broncos. No, I think the Broncos are a better team. I think they've got a better quarterback, and I think their defense is is legitimate as opposed to somebody you know his defense who's just been beaten up on a couple of kids well to, i mean the broncos i like Bridge, they Bridgewater playing, because he's they a haven't bat. played anybody either you know no maybe not but they're not playing rookie quarterbacks in their first game for two-thirds of their schedule so far and that defense is legit and we know it's legit. yeah I, I, it's they, not they, like that's just a splash a in the defense. pan they were all of a sudden so yeah I, i'd say if you had to take the panthers and the broncos and put them in a game right now give me the broncos yeah, I'll I'll, I'm taking them this week at, at a home game. Yeah, that's a tough place to go play, and the Ravens are reeling. All right, yeah. so the Steelers, speaking of a team that is absolutely <sighs> flat on its back, yes. uh, they got to go play Green Bay. Green Bay's favored by six and a half points. Go yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm taking Green Bay and the points. Well, you can't take the points. You'd have to lay them. Oh, I I'm, I'm take the points because I'm in my work pool, and fuck off. <laughs> so all right you're giving six and a half points to the steelers Trust he's like, ben fuck your no, no i'm I, i'm I, green bay's gonna gonna win by like 10 i don't know if you saw steelers ben are just... last week i was running out to try to throw a pass and i fell down i don't even know what happened i was throwing the ball and i just fell down oh hey all of a sudden i'm laying here They're on the terrible. ground and i don't know why yes i i feel very uncomfortable back there the you steelers know? are terrible Pretty soon somebody's going to like you know see my toupee. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm taking the Packers as well. Keith, you taking the Packers? Yeah, Packers. Packers. All right, so we think that the Packers are going to win, even though uh, Aaron Rodgers, statistically speaking, is like he's under Taylor Heineke in completion percentage. I think he's almost dead last in the league. Yeah, there's some weird anomalies this week or that I've seen. All right, so the Buccaneers are being hyped up for this big return to New England, big grudge match, and they're going to go in and they're going to mop the floor mm-hmm. up with the fucking Patriots. The Bucks are favored by seven. I'm going to say they're going to win by at least 14. Yeah. What do you say, I, Keith? Yeah, agreed. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm going to stay away from the points too. part, but yeah, Bucks, Bucks all day. I mean, I can't even believe that this – I mean, I get why they're doing it, Yeah. but are, are we for real having a Tom Brady versus Mac Jones debate here? Come on. All right. Right. I mean, so, Jones will be all right one of these days, but it's, yeah, it's not, they don't have enough. To I still don't deal believe in Jones, but yeah. So you're picking the Bucks too. I'm, I don't even yeah. know why I'm asking. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, uh, Monday night football is going to be, a, I think, a pretty good game. The Raiders are playing the Chargers at that big giant stadium in LA. Uh, that's a good game. It's only a Chargers, a line. It's Charger favored by three. So it's just a home I, line. I love, the Raiders team this year. I think they are fun to watch. I think De- Derek Carr is playing fucking out of his mind. Um, John Gruden quarterback whisperer. And, you know, their defense isn't, you know, all of that. I'm, be- I'm, I'm going to pick the Chargers in this game, but I think this is going to be a very, very, very good, fun game to watch. Yeah, yeah I don't disagree. Be- I don't disagree. I think it is going to be a fun game. Um, I, I would like to pick the Raiders. Um, yeah, me too. I'd like to pick them. I just, uh, I just can't yeah, do it. <laughs> I would like to, but uh, they've played some close games. So, um, I just feel a little bit more comfortable with the Chargers. I feel more comfortable with their defense. They um, played close right games. Now. And yeah. Liz, yeah, they've definitely played close games, but um, their offense is starting to fucking go too. Yeah, correct. Mm. And that's what I was going to say. I think what happens is, is not only do they have a, a good defense, but you you also got uh, Herbert there, and I'm gonna I'm gonna take There's those two. Wide two. Receivers. Yeah, yeah. Two although wide receivers. although the Raiders, man, they're 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 just a fun team, man. I like I like watching them play. They're they're, they're yeah. fun. Yeah, it's gonna be a good game to watch on Monday night. I am gonna go with the Raiders in this game because go they got the Monday night go mojo, <laughs> and yeah. uh, we got too many games where we're all together. And I got to catch up to Keith. You know, that's how you win these kinds of things. Mm-hmm. So, all right. So now that brings us to our team. The Washington football team is favored by a point and a half. Yeah, that line. Usually moved. point and a half. We were we were a, a point and a half dogs. Now we're favorites. I hate when that line moves that much. Um, I don't like this game. 
I, I don't have I don't have any confidence in our team right now. Right. Uh, so uh, where am I put you, you picking the Falcons? I'm picking the Falcons to win. And I'm I'm hoping I'm I'm trying to hedge my bets here. Okay. I, I really am. I'm even picked the Falcons in my work pool. Um and if you were a emotion, superhero. It's it's you an emotional Captain hedge, Pessimist. but I have not seen anything on the field that that would warrant them that I for me to think that we're gonna win this game at all. So hopefully they like prove said, me wrong. If you were a superhero, you'd be ca- Captain Pessimist. We can't win. <laughs> Nothing is any good. We are doomed. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think you could say the same thing about the Falcons. Yeah. You know, they, they've shown even less, I think. So, you know, I would go – I'm, I'm going to go ahead and take us to win this game because I think that there's uh, they more beat, on they the They beat line. the Giants. Yeah, they did. They beat the Giants. I think they, And then uh, John Mara went and kicked himself a trash can. God damn it, I'm so did, shit. Didn't they beat the Giants? Yeah, uh, Jones. By like three points or something like that, more than us. Uh, they they got him with a. I don't know how many points it actually was. I don't really care about that, but I know they got him with a last second field goal. Field goal by Young Weku. Young Weku. Weku. Okay. Young Weku. By the way, speaking of the Giants, Daniel Jones. Fuck you. Fuck you, Daniel Jones. Keith, who you got? Fuck you. Yeah, I'm gonna go Washington football team here. I'm actually surprised that they're favored, to be honest. Um, Me too. But. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely surprised with that, but I, I'm gonna We're go still riding that potential. This is a game where you have to look at it as code red, man. We yeah, have to win this game I because mean, you have shit. to look ahead. The next two games, man. I mean, <laughs> like I'm not even talking about the whole season. I mean, that's a challenge, you know, enough with this schedule. But just the next two games, like you've got to get, you've got, you've got to 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 the, you got to get right. Is, you got to get right. This to is be a game in the hole. One and three would. Uh, you got to learn how to kick somebody's ass. You got to go out there and beat the shit out of somebody. And not just get out there and squeak by Daniel Jones. Yeah. You got to go out there and win a football game and say, look, we can win a football game because we're going to have to, we're going to have to really play over our heads to win the next few. And if they do that, they can give them the confidence and, 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 and that has a lot to do with it. Okay. We went in winning, there. Winning we took cures care of all, business. What they say, right? We took care of business. I don't want to see. Uh, a back and forth game. I want total control out of the whole entire game. Yeah, unfortunately, I, think we I have don't the see talent that happening. To do, but I just, I don't have the confidence that we can do it. I think we have the talent to do that. I just don't think that it's a game that's going to happen. Washington always plays close, man. Uh, I mean, there's not really a whole lot of uh, of games where we can say, man, we really dominated that entire game. And you know, you walk out of there feeling safe. You just, it just never happens. On, with on us. paper, we should. Of course, but of course, but we haven't shown that, you know, out on the field. And, you know, like I said, when you, you know, you you look at this whole situation, I think that you're going to have a team that goes out there that plays with a sense of urgency. And I think that really, honestly, that's going to be the keys to winning is playing with a sense of urgency. And that's on both sides of the ball. Change my Change pick. Your pick? Yeah, I'm still. Did I just convince you? No. Did the I just? Ambassador. No, you can say yes because please give me some credit because um, I, I'm all. I already we, don't know shit about football. I, 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 I no, you did a little, a little bit. We have to win this game. I, I mean, they have to know that the Falcons do too. They're in the same they, boat. Yeah, but they they they're not. They don't have the same kind of talent level, but they're they, in the same yeah, boat. They, they're, 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 all of the stuff we're saying ourselves. There's no them. expectations for the, the Falcons to do anything this year. None. Zero. Even though they're in a shit division. We had expectations this year. They put expectations on themselves after after we went to uh, the playoff game last year with a 7-9 and nine record. And for all the people, was, oh, we almost beat Tom Brady. No, we didn't. It wasn't close. Stop. But it doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is we were there. We put those expectations on ourselves – so we gotta fuck it. We have to. You have to win this game. Duke doesn't like you talking bad about Tom Brady. That was not Duke. Duke's sleeping. Was that Duke not Duke? Duke? Who's, whose nope. dog was that? Oh, Shut up! Oh, Keith's dog. He. I should have known. He barks with a Jersey accent. <laughs> hey, boy, bike, bike, hey, boy, bike, boy, boy, boy. He loves our, <laughs> everything that 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 even like breathes or has a heartbeat, but hey. yet. From out the window, man, he acts like he wants to fight everything. Yo, the fucking mailman is here. <laughs> whoop, whoop. <laughs> That's exactly- oh, shut up. Is that your like New Jersey accent, your Philly accent? Oh, you asshole. I'm not even from here. Don't label me. 
No, your dog. He's got a Jersey accent. And he's kind of got he's, a Jersey he's, name. He's got, a, he's got a Jersey wolf. What's yeah. his name? Brody. He's from North Carolina, though. Brody's a, like a Montana name. Brody will rise a horse. Brody's like a California. Hey, Brody. What's up, man? Hey, dude. Dog's been sitting here quiet all game the minute he sees somebody out the window. Hey, there's somebody walking over here. There's somebody fucking walking out here. <laughs> <laughs> woof, woof, woof. <laughs> I mean, I can't argue that. <laughs> Yeah, I hear you. All right. Well, then I'll tell you what. Well, why don't you go find out who's outside? We're going to break it off right now. We'll come back on Monday to talk about our big victory. Hey, John, uh, it's yeah. the, the bunch of Apkeys versus the finger sniffers in the uh, fantasy league. Uh, oh, is that you? The bunch of Apkeys? Yeah, that, that's that's me. So I'm going to whip your ass this weekend in fantasy. Just to let you I'll know. I'll tell you what. Last week, I don't mean to disparage anybody, but whoever that was that I played last week, I beat them by something like 80 points. And, <laughs> and this is in a league where you're not supposed to win by that much. I mean, <laughs> good grief. I hammered this poor guy. Sorry. He's probably some British guy because this is Andy's league. So he's probably with him. My goodness, this, this man certainly just cleaned my clock. <laughs> <laughs> just cleaned my clock. <laughs> <laughs> Cheerio, mate. Cheerio. <laughs> By my God. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, you can find you Jesse little rascal. J E S S Y S 2 4 on Twitter. And Keith, you are at KG Skins 26. Don't bother and following I'm me. At, that's right. I'm at Bang Radio Hour. If you want to come along, fine. That's fine. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Later. We'll see you on Monday. Later. Later.